protests have made headlines again. Three rounds of negotiations have already taken place and the discussion is still on. But that brings us to the minimum support price or MSP. What is the issue? Let's look at what the government has to say and why exactly are the farmers stressing on MSP. MSP stands for Minimum Support Price. It is a price set by the government to ensure that farmers receive a minimum price for their crops, providing them with a financial safety net. The government typically announces MSP for various crops before the sowing season. If the market prices fall below the MSP during the harvest, the government agencies intervene and purchase the crops from farmers at the agreed minimum price. A point to be noted here is that Punjab farmers got the highest returns for wheat and paddy crops as per the latest government's reports. They also see most of their crop being procured by the state or centre. Nearly 74% of the wheat produced in Punjab was procured at MSP in the 2023-24 season. In some cases, farmers have been protesting to demand legal guarantees for MSP, expressing concerns about the effectiveness and implementation of these policies. This brings us to the next question. Legalizing MSP alone may not be a comprehensive cure for India's agriculture problems. While providing a legal guarantee for MSP could offer farmers a sense of security and fair returns for their produce. Addressing the broader challenges in the agricultural sector requires a multifaceted approach. India's agriculture faces issues such as fragmented land holdings, outdated farming practices, lack of infrastructure and market inefficiencies. The issue of providing a legal guarantee for MSP in India has been a contentious one, with the Modi government facing criticism for not explicitly enshrining MSP in law. Critics argue that a legal guarantee would offer farmers more security and address concerns related to the volatility of agricultural markets. However, the government's position suggests a focus on broader agricultural reforms emphasizing the need of a comprehensive approach to address structural issues in the sector. The government argues that they have implemented other measures, such as the introduction of farm bills, aiming to bring about transformative changes in the agricultural supply chain and improve farmers' income. The debate reflects a complex interplay of economic, political and social factors shaping agricultural policies in India. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.